Hello, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we are going to talk about how you can change the DNS suffix for multiple users or all the users exist in your Active Directory. So in my last video, you have seen it, how we set up the DNS suffix here. Let me go and show you what we did it in our last video. Here, this uh, DNS suffix we added us.com and if I go to the Active Directory, and uh, this is not assigned this is a dns suffix is showing the uh, once.com so now the question is if i have the hundred or thousand of user how can i change this dns suffix name for all the users so to make it working we need a powershell for this uh, here i have write it a command uh, which will help you to um, uh, to change the dns suffix so here is the command uh, which will shows you how many the DNS suffix are here. Let me just do the clear screen. So this command will show you how many DNS suffix we have. So I have the US and I have the once cloud.com. So I'm, I'm assigning, I'm going to assign this us.com. So this command is grayed out. Uh, this is for, uh, uh, let me remove this part. And if you want to add the DNS suffix, so you can use this PowerShell command. But in our scenario, already we added the DNS suffix, so no need to run this part. Now, the second thing is a get all list of the UPN suffix here. Oh, sorry, this, this, this command is duplicate. Now, the next is list of the all users from the, your organization. So let me select this part and run this. So it will give you the all the users available in my Active Directory. So it's an admin and the DNS suffix name is the once.com. And uh, this is a, my the cloud account and this is my the on-prem account and this is my the on-prem account. So all three accounts are tagged under the once.com domain and I would like to change it to us.com. So let's see, here is the, uh, the command is local ad user, filter with the principal name and uh, the domain, what I filter it is a once.com. So now the property is a principal name and the result uh, result size is null. Now the local ad users, this is the variable I, I assigned, so you can give the any other variable as well. So now for each, I did it, the new UPN, and here you have to put your old VPN or uh, old UPN number, the once.com and here come as the new UPN number and the set ad users. And finally we'll test it. So let me go and run this command. So that's all, it's got change. And uh, let's see now what is the my in a suffix. So now the suffix has got changed. It's showing uh, us.com for all the users. And I change it for, if it is a once.com, it will change it to the us. But this account was with the once cloud.com and I have not changed for this. So if you would like to change any specific uh, DNS to the DNS suffix, so you, you have to follow this process. Now, let me go to the Active Directory and see whether it's really got changed or not. So this is my the admin account. Go here, go to the account. And now you see this is a tagged under us.com. And here is my another account. This is SQL account. So as account also showing the us.com. So guys, thank you for watching this video. See you soon in my next video.